Hey, hey, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, there's a portal here. I never showed that before. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm going to go to that bomb shop that I said that I was going to leave until later, because after dungeon number six, there is a little thingajigger there that you can buy, and I shouldn't say it's a little thingajigger. It's uh, quite a powerful thingajigger. <laughs> so, what you need to do is go over to, from here, this way, bomb shop. The bomb shop is where your house was in the light world. So, you should probably be able to figure out how to get to it. Look at that, it's the bomb shop. <laughs> so, this is what they're selling now. See that red bomb there? I want 100 rupees for 30 bombs. I also have a new super bomb in stock for only 100 rupees. Please buy it too, mister. I want that. So press the A button to drop off your bomb. But here is the catch. If you take damage along the way to the point that you need to use this, it's going to explode and then you're going to lose your bomb. So let's tread very cautiously here. <laughs> Also, you can't dash, because if you dash, you'll lose your bomb behind you. So where am I taking this? I'm taking this to the Pyramid of Power. Because uh, you might have noticed when you were walking down the side of it, there is a way... I mean, there's a, a breakable wall that's not... Oh, shoot! Oh! There's a breakable wall that can't be broken by normal bombs. And that is the thing that I can use this for. But I must get there very carefully. <laughs> and hopefully... Won't have any ire along the way. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, you can you can do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, I thought you can't take damage. Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of the GBA version again or something. Okay, that's that's reassuring. All right, so what I do here... Drop off the bomb. Three, two, one! Yeah, it's a weird countdown. <laughs> and in here... Here we go. Check this out. Check this out. Mysterious Pond, won't you throw something in? Man, this sounds familiar. So let's put in... Let's say... Our level 3 sword. Bloop. Wait for it. Wait for it. It throws the old tunnel the fairy! Yes, I did. <laughs> so yeah, it's another one of these things. And this is where you get the most powerful sword of the game! Yep. But that's not all! Oh no! Come on, let me do it again. <laughs> Get out your bow. There we go. And yes, you gotta need the up I mean you gotta upgrade these for 100 percent Of course. <laughs> yes, I did! And silver arrows. These are just the silver arrows to give Ganon his last moment. You definitely need them! I know I don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's cruel power is to blame. You must defeat Ganon. So, the silver arrows are now mine! Yes! Yes! Sparkly! Oh, so sparkly! Can I throw a bottle in there to, uh, say, fill it up? Just out of curiosity here, with, like, magic potion or something like that. I just want to see, because maybe it will, it'll work that way. Uh, yes I did. Uh-huh. Will, will you give me in return? You will fill it up with magic! Interesting, so you can get this at both places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really could use some fairies in all honesty. <laughs> but I'll be able to get some when I get up to uh, Death Mountain, which is the, the place that I'm going to go to next. Here, watch, watch this little trick here. If you start out the game in Dark World and you don't know where to go to be able to go somewhere quickly, watch this. Go up to the top here, stand about there. Use the magic mirror. Oh, look at that, we're on top. And now we can use the flutes to warp to pretty much anywhere. <laughs> uh, in this case, I'm gonna go warp to number one on the map here because, because there's some stuff to look for. Oh yes, are you excited? You should be. Uh, I'm not gonna go that way, actually. <laughs> that this is a spot that I haven't explored in the dark world, but I have explored it um, in the light world. It's it's actually. I mean, down there is more like a way back, uh, more than anything. In all honesty, you'll see when I get into it a little bit more. But for now, I'm just gonna climb this, and it's no faster running up here with <laughs> that's the Pegasus boots for some reason. It's kind of weird. Uh, now, what, obviously, what I want to do here is uh, first get some fairies. 
And then the, the other thing is to use the portal to change into the uh, Dark World. And there's probably an easier way to get fairies, but it's just that I'm in the area, so I figured that I'll grab them over here. By the way, that uh, spelling of fairy, that is actually not incorrect. It's more like Old English I was mentioned, so my bad on that. Now let's move on with the groove on. And oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ho, ho. Oop, okay. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do the weird run up the ladder thing or stairs or whatever, even though it's completely pointless once again because it's fun. Woo! Okay, we're good. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna use the portal because there is. A whole other world to see here! On this side. <laughs> uh, I think it's this one right here that I need to jump off of. We're gonna see in just a second! Yes it is! Get out your hammer and your magic cape. And also a green potion helps. Run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! <laughs> uh oh, maybe I should have green potion first. Run, 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 run! I'm still invincible because of the flashiness! Let's see if I can do this without taking damage! And pause, pause, pause! Wait, 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 wait! Magic cape! Go! Yes! <laughs> well, to an extent it worked. And we lift up. Ah! And we're good. <laughs> uh, this should have some potions in here as well. Uh, if you don't have... Well, I, thought, I guess there's no potions. Uh, if you don't have the um, magic cape, you can get by... Uh, with, like, having a lot of hearts. But anyway, this is, this, the Cave of Brianna is very similar to the Magic Cape, only it can actually do damage to enemies. Woo! So yeah, you can use this to, uh, zip through the floor. I also think it uses maybe a little bit more, or, m wait, I forgot which uses more magic, the, uh, the cape or the cane. I think it's actually the cape, now that I'm looking at how much, uh, or I should say how few magic I use there. Okay, so that is taken care of, and now I can show you this site here. I don't, I don't know what's up with these like little volcano things. Like, look, look at this. When you move this way, they move at the right pace. But when you move up or down, it's it's like you're seeing a texture underneath them, and that's what makes that animation. It's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> it, including the uh, lava along that this area as well. I, I just don't know why, and it always. Just like, I was always just baffled by that. Oh, you know what I should do? Um, yes. Let's use the ma magic mirror here. I don't want to explore the uh, parts of Death Mountain that I haven't yet explored, basically, to show you. And I think I'm going to need the hookshot to get past this gauntlet of sorts. If you can call it a gauntlet. <laughs> this isn't necessary, I don't believe, to uh, make progress or anything like that. It's just something... It's a cave system that's nice to explore for the fun of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole other wing to this place we haven't seen yet, so... Yeah, that's what I'm, that's mainly what I'm going to be doing this part, because there's a, a heart piece to get. Um, as well as just some stuff to see in general. <laughs> Alright, that cave is clear. I mean, obviously we're supposed to get to that cave <laughs> from another way, so I can get to said treasure chest, but... Yes, that's a start. I'm working from the top to the bottom. No, you don't. No, you don't, Mr. Random Mover. Okay, I'm going up. Maybe this will lead to the mysterious chest. This is actually a really complicated cave system, by the way. Um, so this, this is like a dungeon in itself. I forgot what hole I'm supposed to drop down. I'm going to assume it's this one. <laughs> is this correct? I don't know, but I can ferry up. Uh, woo. I will do that, and I will do that, yes. Mm, just preparing for the future. <laughs> That's a awfully difficult to get fairy fountain in comparison to others. I don't think you want to drop down those. Uh, this is, yeah, this leads up, <laughs> up above where we went in, and this leads, I mean, these two caves, where do they lead? I forgot. Pretty sure one of these leads uh, up. Hmm, this is a way back, okay. 
And now for the last cave, before we go to the upper path here. Uh, it is... that's also way back. See, there's a bomb wall there and you push that brick to uh, get back through here. But this might actually be a place that I can make use out of. Oh yeah, let's see. <laughs> hmm. No, it's a shop! I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, what do you have to say? Because you're in such an, uh, an awkward location here. Uh, prices as my <laughs> just pretty similar dialogue. All right, let's go to the uh, dark world then, I guess, and then go back to the light world. What I gotta do is do the uh, flip over type thing. But over on this side, I guess I can show you as well. Oh, oh there's one more cave here. I forgot about this cave, man. <laughs> Forgetting all sorts of stuff. Okay, what does this do? This goes. Up here. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Is this an exit? Like, what's. Like, why would I want to exit above. Oh, this is a shortcut. Ah, that's nice. So if I plop down here. What is this then? Um, I'm just figuring this out all. Like, like, it's the first time I've played this game before. <laughs> Even though that's obviously not the case by the way I've been playing, it's just that I, I forgot how this cave system works. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's, as I said, it's a pretty complicated cave system, like a dungeon in itself. So obviously there's a hole, and <laughs> when, you, when there's a hole in such a place, you probably want to drop down it. Okay. That's interesting. So, now that I know about the place that I can use to get up there, I don't have to use the... Uh, uh, place around like remember I was gonna go to the uh, dark world owl <laughs> go to the dark world and then um, Go up to the Tower of Hera uh, And then go around the bridge over to this side. I guess I don't have to do that now But there is still that uh, other cave in this room that oh why did I do that? I knew that was up there, but yeah, there's this cave over in this room. That's it's still mysterious and I just realized the way up was not through those, it was down this way. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm burning your time here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, what if I drop down here? I've never dropped down here before, have I? Oh, that's how you get here. That makes sense based on the layout of this. So let's bomb this. I'm glad I tried jumping down there. What's my prizes? Probably rupees because I've got all, all. I mean, I know where the rest of the heart pieces are. Oh, it's arrows and bombs. That's nice, I guess. Because I had to use a bunch of bombs to even get around this place. <laughs> okay, where does this take me to? This goes around here. Oh, hello there, secrets. This might be a job for the magic boomerang. I should say the upgraded boomerang. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can I actually go like... Yeah, I can actually go through that. Uh, rupee! Rupee! <laughs> it's all overflowing in my wallet. If only it was like Twilight Princess where you... Um, where you have that thing where if you get a rupee and your wallet's full, it'll actually put it back into the chest so you can come back for it later so you never actually lose out on those kinds of mass rupee collection type things. Alrighty, I think that is good for now. I'm gonna go back up. Here we are. <laughs> now, um, over here is the, the part that I showed you before uh, next to the tower. This was past the uh, stakes here. Yeah, it's right over... <laughs> it's right over here. And I'd like to show you something um, over, over, over... If I can, I th I'm not sure if it's on this side or if it's on the other side, I forgot. Uh, there's a heart piece seemingly in the middle of nowhere. No, it's not not on this side. It's got to be on the other side then. And you get it, you get it from the dark world using the magic mirror. And it's, it's kind of tricky to figure out the spot. But I'll get it. <laughs> Especially since I got to fully explore the uh, dark world side of this half. I should say it's more like a quarter of Death Mountain. Death Mountain is just massive. <laughs> Okay, here we go. There's the heart piece. Okay, it's right over there. Remember that? Remember that. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is go... <laughs> go here. 
pick this up. Yeah, you need the Titan's Mitts to be able to even get that heart piece. You're gonna see why in a second, but I wanna kinda explore this. Pick up stuff, pick up sticks, pick up rocks. And yeah, get out of my way. And I'm gonna hammer these. Ah, wrong order. <laughs> Yeah, I knew the, one, the first one was the bottom right, but I forgot what, what one was the second, so it's bottom right and then go counterclockwise. Yeah, you gotta do this in accordance to the victory sound effect. I guess you could say that's the, the puzzle here. Okay, here we go. Blop. 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 Oh, I said blop. And then you make a portal to the Dark World. And this is how you can use your magic mirror um, over on this particular side. Now, uh, can I actually check check this? No, I can't. Well, anyway, I'm going to use the power of Quake. Yeah! And this will open up the next dungeon. Yes. Turtle Rock. But that'll be for later, of course, because there's still that other heart piece I got to get. Uh, what's under these things? Oh, and there's also this uh, higher area to explore, too. That's uh, dandy. The first time I played through this game, I thought I had to do something with with this here, but no, that's just detailing. Uh, but anyway, get a nice view of the pink thunder clouds because we're so high up. And they're going like crazy. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that, though, on the recording because of the whole frame drop thing. Alright, so there's the place with the heart piece. And now, we gotta take a look-see. Oh, Lynels! These guys are powerful as heck! Like, really, really powerful! <laughs> but our, uh, level 4 sword makes short work of them, but they still do a lot of damage. And over here is... Just gonna show you. Oh, thank you for the fairy there, Lionel. <laughs> oh boy! It's a rainbow tower of doom! What is this place? What is this place? Look at where we are. Yeah, we're above here now. Uh, where the guy is kicking around the little ball-like critter. And yeah, I'm gonna go up and around here for fun. Just to see what's... Why did I stop? I seen that was coming and I was like... Eh, I don't know. Okay, so that's... Kinda like nothing, I think. Maybe. <laughs> and going around. Just remember this tower for later. It's, it's obviously pretty important. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Alright, now, um... Um, 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 um... Um, 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 um... Ah, uh, I forgot how this works. Uh, don't I, like, use ether to, f to see a path? Oh, I'm, I'm short on magic! Oh! 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 I'll be right back. Alright, I'm giving up a fairy! For some magic! Yes, actually I should have uh, um, an extra bottle of magic for the next dungeon uh, while I'm here anyway, so... Yeah, that's kind of nice that I'm coming here, come to think of it. Alright, now let's try the Aether Medallion here where I wanted to before. Because I think there's something to be shown here. Uh, hmm, hmm. I thought there was, if you use the Aether Medallion. Uh, okay, what am I missing here, game? <laughs> stop that, stop, stop. Oh! Hmm, is this this thing that I'm missing? Maybe? Ah, this is the place! Why did I think it was outside that I had to use this? Yeah, you can see the flashness of the floor that you can actually move through. And I almost fell off there, actually, but yeah! So, this is a puzzle of sorts to get around. Kinda, maybe, sorta. Okay, it's very much a puzzle. <laughs> so, why, yeah, why did I think I had to use it outside? I don't know. I've been through here before. Fairy fountain. You don't, I don't need you right now. I got fairies along the way there. <laughs> okay, so this way... I wonder if I should drop the good bee to, um... Uh... You know, be able to, say, get, gather another fairy. Because I think that another fairy would be handier than having a uh, good bee, actually. Good bee is fun, but, you know, it's not... Not super game-breaking like the bosses or something like that. Except for one, I believe it's it works on Mothula. Uh, so yeah, but I can always get another good bee 
um, somewhere else. Where does this lead to? Okay, that makes more sense. Magic mirror here! Get yourself another heart piece! Whew. That was a lot of work for one heart piece. <laughs> but, there's still more. <laughs> I know, I know. There's still more to see in here. Because you've seen that there was uh, that other chest down the other pathway. Um, so let's go uh, this way and try that ether medallion again. Yeah, I hope you can actually see the flashiness of that so that you can see what's going on here. Uh, if I go like here and then I would use my hook shot, I can now have access to this. Yes! Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Oops. <laughs> well, I can always reset this room. Uh, anyway, I can use this to go across here. Yeah, it's just a rupee refilling room, I guess you could say. Die! Oh, it's just right under, right underneath it. Uh, I gotta go. Um, 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 um. How do I get there? Cause yeah. Oh, I need to go from up. No, I, yeah, up there would have worked. Yeah, I shouldn't have dropped that skull. <laughs> reset, reset. I should reset the. A skull pot's just fine, and the pathway was like, oh, that wasn't right. It was two squares down, a little bit over, and then we go like that, and we go down like so. Okay, I couldn't see that from that side because of the screen cut off. All right, that's it. Death Mountain, I think, is 100%. I think. Oh wait, actually no. Um, isn't there this? <laughs> Like, isn't there, isn't this another pathway in itself? Because there's, ah, oh my god, there's so much stuff. Yeah, this is another thing at Death Mountain. Uh, it's a puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. <laughs> yeah, la la la, yeah, I can't believe I forgot about this too. <laughs> so, so much stuff to Death Mountain, it's, it's crazy, and I, I don't really, I don't even know if people, I mean, if everyone that played through this game, I mean, I'm sure every, I mean, there are some people who play through this game, but I mean, like, people who have made YouTube walkthroughs and stuff like that on this game have actually went through uh, this sort of stuff on it before, because this is a lot of uh, optional stuff here. <laughs> I mean, it's, well, I, I mean, I guess if you're low on rupees, it's not so optional, because you can use them for the, the side quests and stuff like that. Obviously, there's a pathway up over to that right, but I'm going to take... Uh, this way first, I think, just to see what we've got, because I think this is the uh, other pathway around we're going to see very shortly. Uh, yes, but I forgot where this leads to, and this is some complicated stuff. This goes past the blocks, right? Yes, because this, yeah, it's, it's that sort of thing. It, the block is half over, so it's, you can't squeeze your way through there. It's a mini puzzle. And then you gotta pick one of these holes to drop down. I forgot which one. Probably this one, because it's furthest away. And, oh, so none of them were useful. <laughs> All right, so that leads back here. Interesting. Now, remember there's another uh, series of caves. Well, I shouldn't say a series of caves. There's another cave, or at least there was in the light world. Down, 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 this way. Oh, it's closed off there. Okay, that's good. Because I don't have to explore anymore. Uh, that's closed up. So that means you can't get up to that area in the dark world the uh, other way. That's to be expected because, you know, you had to do that thing through the mountain to find the... Uh, um, stuff on top of Turtle Rock, or you could have used the hammer to get past the bridge next to the Tower of Hera. Uh, okay, that's closed off there. Now what I'd like to do is go over to the Light World once again. And now we're going to explore the spot underneath where that guy was kicking around the ball guy. Ah! Okay. <laughs> So now what I was talking about is, uh, remember over here, there was that guy kicking around, ball guy, and I, I didn't really jump down here before, did I? At least I don't, well, maybe I did when I got the, uh, 
Yeah, and I got one through here for the cape, but I didn't jump all the way down to the bottom here, I think. Did I? Did I? Did I? I don't think I did. So let's take a quick peek see around here. I'm pretty sure this is just, uh, this is just mostly the Dark World equivalent, and it's detailing more than anything, because there really isn't uh, all that much to see here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just uh, get through this quickly, I suppose. Uh, this is where... Uh, we came through the mountain, but right here it's a fairy fountain this time. Which is alright, I guess. <laughs> and moving on... Oh, what did I kill? <laughs> Was it one of those skull heads? Maybe? But then it had to have come alive, but I didn't see it come alive. I, I, I don't know. It was too quick for my eyes to see. And... there is this right here. Yep, it's the long bridge that you, can <laughs> that you can do this on. It won't make you go any faster. And that leads you back up to here. Ah, yes, I got the moon pearl. Uh-huh, that's true. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here because I am beat. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I start the Turtle Rock Dungeon.